if you think about the population of the world, let's say seven and a half billion people. And so we need vaccines for billions of people. And if everybody gets two doses of the vaccine, then we'll need 15 billion doses for everybody. And it's quite reasonable to expect that we would need um, two doses of many of these vaccines. So the, the first dose uh, sort of introduces it to your body. And then the second dose uh, gets your body ready to fight the disease the next time. You know how this works. For those of you who uh, have been teenagers or, or uh, are teenagers, you know that, for example, with the Gardasil vaccine, initially they were saying three doses, but now that's down to two doses. It's pretty common to need multiple doses of a vaccine. And so it's reasonable to think that we'll need two for this one as well. Some of the early trials being done right now, they give you the first dose and then wait a month and give you the second dose. So if that's the case, to vaccinate everybody in the world, that's 15 billion doses. Now, fortunately, we go a long way not vaccinating everybody. If we just vaccinated healthcare workers, um, especially in emergency departments, if we just vaccinated people working in long-term care, if we just vaccinated people working in grocery stores, uh, that would do a lot of good. But the point of my talk is that you should not expect to be vaccinated unless you're a member of one of those populations, at least not anytime soon, because to get us to tens of millions, hundreds of millions, billions of doses, it's going to take us years. <laughs>